Today's Mass is being offered for Jackie Minter, the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. Very it's instrumental or instructive for us to learn from St. Mary Magdalene, one of the great sinners of the, the New Testament, but also one of the great penitents, someone who turned her life around and became one of the, the greatest saints and one of the, one of the favored of the Lord. We can all gain or, or glean great, great uh, consolation from this because we too are in need of, of much mercy. St. Gregory the Great was instrumental in, in really shining many beautiful lights, many deep insights into the life of, of St. Mary Magdalene. And it was, it was he who preached a sermon or, or homily on how Mary Magdalene went and sought our Lord, that she didn't really take no for an answer. She kept looking for him. She kept inquiring after him and kept searching for him. And it uh, shows all of us that any good work must be wrought in perseverance if it, if it is to take hold and to take root. That we, if we don't first see, uh, find something that we're seeking, uh, we have to keep after it. We have to keep honing the skills, so to speak, of our spiritual life. We must also realize that that our earnestness in, in the search often leads to great merit once the, the object of our love is found. We need to adorn that object, our Lord, with as much love as possible. We need to show him that, that we, we weren't just seeking him to find him. We were, we were seeking him to find him, to love him, and to be with him in, in eternity must realize that there are, are many similes uh, contained within the search of St. Mary Magdalene. And our soul must also realize that we are going out, as it were, into a city, into a dark city, and we're looking for someone to shower the, the affections of our soul upon. And when, we're, when we do this, the, the fathers, can be seen as watchmen. They can be seen as those individuals in the city who are keeping guard, who are showing us the way, and who have uh, lanterns to sh shed light upon our path and to get us to our final destination. Uh, we must realize that that as as individuals who are who are seeking the object of our love, uh, when we when we do finally attain that knowledge, we must hold on to it, we must cherish it, we must see it as the pearl of great price. And all too often, we, we see individuals who, who embrace the faith, but they, they let it wither very quickly. The, the temptations, the pride of life, and, and all, the, all, the, all the, uh, the wiles of Satan get in the way, and they can, they can choke that faith off. But we need to be very authentic in our search. We need to pray to St. Mary Magdalene, and who is one of the patrons of repentant sinners. And we must ask her to, to keep our search authentic, to keep it holy, to keep it persevering, to, to keep it totally in line with, with, with the Father, with the Son, and the, with the Holy Ghost. When we see in our spiritual life uh, this pilgrimage to, to our homeland, we must, we must know that there will be many aches and pains along the way. We will, we will incur many things that hurt us, many things that discourage us. But this really does make it all the more sweet when we do finally come to our deathbed, our moment of death, and we are confronted with, with our judge we are able to uh, take St. Mary herself, the Virgin Mother, as well, well as St. Mary Magdalene, and have them uh, plead for us, have them show the Father that we too, uh, although we're, we're lowly sinners, we have run the race and hopefully are worthy of the kingdom. God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.